Hey, welcome to Weird Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to BalonyBrain.com. This is John House, or Used Toy, with my partner, Daryl House, or Suburban Hobo. How you doing, Daryl? Uh, I'm whipped already. I'm, I'm packing the truck. I'm driving to Texas in the morning. I'm going to Texas. That's my best Elvis face. When I die, I may not go to Texas because I'm not sure if they let cowboys in. <laughs> oh, I, that's all wrong. If I, when I die, I may not go to heaven because I don't know if they let cowboys in. If not, then let me go to Texas because Texas is as close as I've been. Nice. Well, what do that's you have for us today? Oh man, I got st- I got you know what? I read this story the other day about bad neighbors, and you know as many crazy stories as we've talked about. I can't remember any like really bad neighbor stories, but but here's a guy who uh, this was um, this was up in Vero Beach, Florida, it's about an hour north of where I am here. And, Florida, uh, what a surprise! Yeah, can you imagine who to thunk it? <laughs> an allegedly drunken Harold Blair. I just hate to mention names, but Harold. He ranted and cussed at his Vero Beach neighbor after the man, who works a night shift, had asked Blair to do something about his barking dogs that were preventing him from sleeping. Deputies were called twice. Uh, the second time they arrived that evening, Blair was seated on his motorcycle in the front yard, revving the engine totally naked. <laughs> Well, the cops took the 49-year-old man to the pokey. He was arrested on charges including disorderly conduct and resisting arrest without violence, without clothes. <laughs> Bad neighbor. Well, Bad you know, neighbor. since you're on Florida, Port Charlotte, Florida, and I'm not sure where that is. It's over in the West Coast, uh, a, bit, a little bit above uh, Fort Myers, where I used to live. Well, Pretty town. Apparently, uh, two men were uh, in a park. And uh, they they decided to uh, to grope some men that were at the park. We we have one of those parks up here. They call it a pickle park. A pickle and, park. Uh, and anyway, so I, I guess uh, like trying to uh, trying to pick up these guys, they grabbed their crotch. Except the the guys happen to be cops. So uh, you know, it's it's probably a good idea not to go around uh, grabbing men's groins because both men were arrested for battery. Well, you know what? I I think you know, we have gay athletes coming out. I'm fairly certain there are gay cops that actually may have uh, said, "Hey, big boy." <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't say things about my cops. If I'm driving to town, I got a 20-hour drive. I could, I could be end up in the slammer in, uh, in Moline or somewhere. I don't know. It's a, hey, here's here's an interesting story. I think I think these people may be onto something. This comes clear out of New Zealand. I'm taking Florida off the hook for this one. Dunedin, New Zealand. A New Zealand woman mistakenly glued her lips. <laughs> You've already read this story. This, this is one of my stories. Uh, I'm sorry. She mistakenly glued her lips together and then attempted to call authorities. <laughs> Police said the woman sounded like she was gagging or had a medical condition. She could only grunt. <laughs> Police reported to her home in Dunedin, and they found that the 64-year-old year old woman had mistaken glue for lip cream and had glued her lips together together. She, she was taken to the hospital and has since been released. But now here's here's my thought. Maybe there needs to be a product like this. Can you imagine? New no, from Baloney Brain. Shut the hell up, cream. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a great idea. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm sorry I stole your story. Oh, that's okay. But I, so that one was the, too good to waste. This is so the people who watch us on, on Weird Wednesday every week know that we don't really plan this out ahead of time. But if you didn't, if you couldn't tell just by watching, <laughs> this is really right off the cuff. Well, my, my next story is uh, the uh, the mayor of San Diego calls this this case stupid. Uh, a guy basically um, writing in water soluble chalk outside of, of San Diego banks. And, uh, you know, like uh, trying to, uh, to voice his opinion. And, oh, the oven is preheated. 
Um, right. So he is uh, he's trying to like voice his opinion, and he gets arrest arrested for uh, graffiti, and was facing thirteen years in jail for writing on sidewalks in water soluble chalk. Well, surely the judge thought better of this. Well, it, it actually went to the jury. the The judge, I, I don't think, thought it was. It, uh, he, I think he thought it was a waste of time, but uh, the the jury basically threw out the uh, the charges. And the guy who was uh, inspired by the Occupy Wall Street movement said he was relieved at the outcome, and that uh, you know the prosecution brought more attention to his views. I believe that the Constitution guarantees, actually incites us to protest inequality in our world, and our nation. I think uh, he was fully within his rights to that. I mean, he didn't use paint that could not be removed. He used chalk that would have washed away in the next rainstorm. I, I'm, I'm fully with this guy. I'm, I'm okay with that. And banks are, are robbers anyway. So, you ready for, are you ready for, I, I didn't mean it, Bank of America. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this story? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Baloney Brin, Baloney Brin gets socially conscious today. The New Yorker magazine, very prestigious magazine, marked the Supreme Court's decision last week on same-sex marriage and benefits issues with a cover featuring Sesame Street puppets Bert and Ernie. Now, we have a copy of this so that you all can see what we're talking about. The cover from the July 8th and 15th features the children's show characters pictured from behind in partial silhouette with Ernie resting his head on Bert's shoulder while Bert has his arm draped around Ernie. Now, the characters are watching a TV show that has the Supreme Court on it, and they ruled, of course, last week that same-sex couples can receive the same federal benefits as heterosexual couples, and they cleared the way for same-sex marriage in California by striking down a challenge for ruling against the same-sex marriage ban. This goes on and on. But the New Yorker cover, it was created by a gentleman named Jack Hunter, and it's titled Bert and Ernie's Moment of Joy. He went on to say, it's amazing to witness how attitudes on gay rights have evolved in my lifetime. He said, this is great for our kids, a moment we can all celebrate. Now, Sesame Street responded. Their response uh, actually came prior to this. They responded to long, to long circulating rumors of a homosexual relationship between Ernie and Bert. Back in 2011, they issued a statement saying that the characters are best friends. They were created to teach preschoolers that people can be good friends with those who are very different from themselves. The statement went on to say, even though they are identified as male characters and possess many human traits and characteristics, they remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. Rock on, Bert and Ernie. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Well, uh, so I'm, I'm pulling this one up on the fly to, to get my last story in. Uh, Omaha police allege that Daryl Moore, 53, walked into a police headquarters to report that he just witnessed a murder. Very serious business. Rather than elaborate, Moore pulled his pants down and began to masturbate. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't, I'm, I'm losing the storyline here. So. <laughs> And he reported that he just witnessed a murder, and, and instead of going elaborating on what he saw, and instead he just pulled down his pants and started to, uh, you know, uh, grease the porpoise, so to speak. Well, I'd like to hear more, but I've got to go to the bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was eventually subdued and booked on charges of lewd conduct, indecent exposure, disorderly conduct, and an attempted assault on an officer, because then when they tried to uh, arrest him for his acts, he tried to spit on officers, so. <laughs> so. You know, I know we try to, to you know, keep a certain moral outlook on this, thing, but sometimes jokes are just so obvious that it, just, it kills me not to go there. <laughs> he spits on him. <laughs> I can't go there. Are we all done? We're all done. I'm packing the truck. I'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend and or week and weekend or, or whatever, and we'll see you. Daryl, you have a safe trip, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks, for everybody, for uh, coming to BaloneyBrain.com. We'll see you next week on Weird Wednesday.